All right, y'all, hop in because we're taking a ride through auto insurance. So we're gonna need these uh, because insurance really is a roll of the dice for the insurance company, which is trying to figure out risk. How safe of a gamble is it to cover me? Absolutely very safe. Dice don't lie. Uh, I'm also rolling them though to see what my chances are of getting an affordable premium. Whoa, no chance? I didn't even know these things could have zeros. Seriously though, you may have some chance of finding a decent deal, but many Texans looking for good but cheap auto insurance have found no dice. S&P Global Market Intelligence tracks this better than anyone. They've highlighted that between 2018 and 2023, auto insurance rates in Texas went up 46.5%. That's the most in the country. Why? A big part of the problem is this. Oh, that was the end of the sentence. A big part of the problem is this, us, the way we drive. You've seen this problem, maybe you've been this problem. Using the latest year for which we have complete data, 2021, you can see California had millions more drivers and registered vehicles than Texas, and collectively they drove billions more miles than we did. Yet Texas had far more fatal crashes involving alcohol, and by far we had the most people not wearing seatbelts who died in crashes. Now, last year, California did once again steal the top spot for vehicle thefts, more than 200,000 stolen. Texas was a distant second. Still, we had almost as many stolen autos as the final four states in the top 10, Missouri, Georgia, Ohio, and New York combined. Also, a lot of autos on Texas roads are accidents waiting to happen. Sorry, I left out a word there. They are uninsured accidents waiting to happen. Last year, the state counted more than two and a half million unmatched registrations. Many of those are suspected to be uninsured vehicles. That makes you grip the steering wheel tighter. It also makes insurance premiums rise. Insurers hate that stat and all of the things I've just talked about because these problems increase the risk that they'll have to pay out more in claims, but they've got the money, right? I mean, in 2020, they had auto policy profits of almost $3 billion in Texas. Well, then they gave all that back and then some in 2021, 2022, and 2023, when they had huge losses year after year, even as they were raising our premiums. Now, that's not a sustainable business model, so buckle up. With these numbers, we could see more increases ahead. But there are some ways you can save on auto coverage, including one that I will not do yet. We're gonna get into that ahead tomorrow on Daybreak. Meantime, more info on this huge topic in my write-up today at Jason Wheeler TV on Facebook, X, and Threads. Just don't read it while you're driving because when Forbes ranked Texans as the worst drivers last year, they noted that we also have one of the highest rates of fatal crashes involving people who are distracted at the wheel. We have some things to work on so that we can be covered right on the money.